Yes people, what is up? So welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is the start of my peak week process. So I'm currently five days out from competing. So before getting into all the details about peak week and what's going on for me and stuff like that, I just thought I'd try and explain to a few people who maybe don't know what peak week is, um, just what that scenario actually is. So peak week is the uh, seven days leading up to the competition. Um, it's basically where you start to manipulate the body from um, carbs and increasing water. Um, if the best way I can describe it is if you have a sponge and you're trying to squeeze all the soap out of the sponge, um, that's what we're trying to do with the body this week just to make it leaner and tighter. So we're trying to squeeze all of the carbs out of the body before we put some um, carbs back in towards the end of the week. So my plan set for so far this week, I kind of set up to Wednesday, from Wednesday we'll see how things are going. Um, so from today, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll be having no carbs, I'll touch on the food part in a minute. Um, I'm slowly increasing the water every day and apart from that we're just training as usual. So just going to run through how my week is set out so far. So today is Monday, I'm starting this vlog five days out, um, basically because I didn't do much at the weekend to show. Um, yeah, so today is Monday, today we've dropped the cows out of the diet completely. Um, started to increase the water a little bit today. In regards to cardio, I'll touch more on that in a minute, um, but it's basically staying the same intensity and amount of time that you should have seen in my last vlog. Um, if you haven't watched that, go watch that. In regards to training, I'm going to train as normal up to Wednesday and I think Thursday will be my last weight session depending on how things are going. So that's what's going to happen in regards to, to training and um, cardio this week and we will reassess both on Wednesday. So in regards to food, my food is exactly the same as what I had in the last vlog one week out no carbs exactly the same so I don't need to show you every meal I'm having because if you watch the last vlog you will have seen all of that so just be a repeat of information um, I will put a slide up with each meal and the calorie and macro content for you in regards to water so so far on prep, I've always made sure I've had at least one Volvic sugar-free, one and a half litre water. Make sure I've had one of them a day at least. On top of that, every training session is one and a half litre of BCA mixed in normal water, just reusing the bottle. So today I'm going to be looking at increasing the water for sure. So I've also filled up my body power 2 litre jug and um, from this I'll also use this water as a pre-workout and for my whey protein post-workout. So in regards to training I know roughly what I'm going to be doing for the next three days. So today I'm going to get legs out of the way, I'm going to go hit some legs take the camera with me, I'll try and film some of that. Tuesday is going to be a push session because I'm getting a massage on my back which is a little bit tight, I'm getting that done tomorrow so I don't want to train after I've had the massage for the back and Wednesday will be a pull day, see how the back's feeling, might just have to target a different part of, uh, of the back where the massage has um, targeted the most. So, like I said, I'll take the camera with me today to train legs. Um, I am on my own. Um, I haven't got anyone to film me. If I'm struggling to film me doing the exercise, I will just film the machine itself that I'm using. Um, but I'll put all the information in the details below so you can look at the workout and hopefully you'll learn something or at least enjoy it.
So, leg day done, final leg day, go out of the way, just short of 90 minutes session, 475 calories, um, got nothing else left for today, Monday, I've just got a client to go train, like I said, I'm not going to show you any of my food, because I showed you it in the last vlog, so go over and give that a check out if you missed it, but I'll see you tomorrow. So just arrived at the gym, 20 past 8, like I said, push day, I'm going to film as much as I can, let's go.
Set, come on. Squeeze them in, bro, come on. And welcome to Wednesday. Three days out from competition. Just heading to the gym to get the fasted cardio in. About 10 to 10 in the morning. Um, just checked in with Ryan. Feeling very dry, very tight. Um, today we'll be receiving the carb up plan, which we're going to start tomorrow. So I can't wait to do that. But apart from that, I'm going to get to the gym now and get the cardio done. So back from gym, um, all I've done today so far is cardio and pausing, nearly 10 to 3, um, but we're just getting on with some cooking for today, got the 2 litre bottle of water there, some mince to cook, some chicken in there, and let me just say, you know you're on prep when all your shakers are out, they're all being cleaned, and there's a lot of Tupperware on the draining board. That's when you know you're deep in prep. So we're just going to get this cooking done now, um, and then I'm going to cook later on for carb up tomorrow. We'll see what happens there. So we've just had a delivery of the Pure Elite competitor hoodie for Saturday. If you just flip it over. Purely competitor on the back. First of July. Already. So I finished training that pole session with Zach, I went straight to Morrison's to get some steak for tomorrow. Came to him in the kitchen, cooked it all up, it's now 10 o'clock, just waiting for a few uh, last bits to cook for tomorrow, and then we are carving up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end today here, I'm going to get some pausing done, 15-20 minutes, just keep practicing, and I'll see you all tomorrow. people welcome to Thursday two days out as you can see still in my dressing gown and it's just turning 5 to 10 in the morning um, so cardio has been taken out this morning no more cardio left on this prep 
Um, so in regards to today, I've just got some work to do on the laptop, but most importantly today we are starting the carb up, ready to go. So over here we've got the food ready for the carb up, we've got meal one, 55 grams of oats, 120 grams of steak, Meal two, 150 gram sweet potato, 130 gram chicken. Meal three, 55 grams of oats, 130 grams of chicken. Meal four, 150 gram sweet potato, 130 gram of chicken. Same again in meal five. And meal six is 55 grams of oats and 120 grams of steak. So with each meal today, I'll be taking three capsules of ravenous that's just a digestive enzyme to help my body keep processing the food efficiently i'll also be taking one or two capsules of ad matador basically that's just going to stop my body from storing all of the carbs in there and it helps store some of it into the muscles just to give me that um, extra a look. I'm all ready now. I'm just going to go to work. So, so far this morning, I've had my meal one, which was the 50 grams of oats and 120 grams of steak. I've had meal two, which was 130 grams of chicken and 150 grams of sweet potato. I'm taking the rest of the stuff with me. So, I'm going to pack it all into the uh, six pack freezer bag. So I've got the next meal, 130 grams of chicken, 150 gram of sweet potato, put that in there, <coughs> same again, got another one down, another 130 gram of chicken, 55 gram of oats, one spoon, one fork, one spoon, ravenous for every meal, Matador for every meal and we've got the BCA for later on for tonight's pump session and then I've got the rest of my two litre water to drink as well. So just on the just on break at work having another meal. I'll show you uh, I'll show you the cell. So I've got the iPad, quick YouTube video. 55 grams of oats, 130 grams of chicken. So it's Thursday night, just turning 20 past 10 at night. So they were going to give us everything I could. Um, so I'm getting this last pump session in now before the show day on Saturday. Let's get it done. Not going corners, not leaving anything's chance.
Okay people, so just done the last pump session, just got home, going to have my oats and steak and tomorrow we are carving up again, I'll take you through that tomorrow, see you then. As you can see back from uh, the haircut at the haircut this morning um, the camera died this morning actually so it's been on charge so so far I've had a meal one and two I'm just gonna have meal three all the meals that I'm having today are exactly the same as um, carb day load number one which was yesterday um, the only difference is is that we're adding three kale or rice cakes to uh, to every meal again I'll do a slide on the uh, on the breakdown of that uh, but yeah that's that's the only change in regards to carbs so far today uh, go check in with Ryan later on so I'm just gonna have um, meal three now and then I'm meeting up with Craig and we're heading over to the inner arena in Manchester and we are getting the first layer of our tandem so I'll take you along with me and I also might pop in to buy some goody treats for after the show tomorrow. So we've just arrived at the arena for the tan. Craig in the background over there. <laughs> arena time baby. Going in there now, it's gonna get his tan on. And then we'll be brown again. The stage for tomorrow. Just coming out of the arena, just been tanned. Craig, where you at? There he is. Just been tanned. Now we are going to head back to Bradford, get some more food, and get ready for the show tomorrow. Let's do it. So, as you can see, I'm a little bit of a shade of brown right now. Had the tan done earlier. So, all I'm doing now is preparing the meals for show day tomorrow. I'm so excited, I can't, I can't actually wait to get it over and done with, not, not in a bad way, but I'm just so excited to get back out on stage. Um, I have bought a bag of goodies, which I'll be taking with me for post-show, um, but I've locked them in the car just so I'm not tempted at all to go into them. Um, so you might see some of them tomorrow, you might not, depends how quick I eat them. But I'm just going to wrap this vlog up as a whole right now for peak week, and the next time I'll see you is in the next vlog, and it'll be showtime baby.